Hey guys, so in the last video I showed you how to set cookies and now I want to show you how to handle these cookies that are now going to be sent to your server after the requests happen. So to do this I'm using a library called Cookie Parser and if we scroll down to the bottom I'm using Cookie Parser where I create my uh, GraphQL server. So this is Express Middleware that will run on every single request. So cookies will be automatically sent with every GraphQL request that is sent to the server. And so what's gonna happen is if they're on the GraphQL endpoint, it's first gonna parse the body of the request, then it's gonna grab the cookies. And what that does is actually puts it in the request object called dot cookies. Uh, and then we can access any of them from there. Now you'll notice right here I have just like a little function. This is basically my own custom middleware. And if you've followed me before or seen my, any of my other authentication videos, this is how I like to do it, or I've done it in the past, where I will um, look at the request, and that's where we're gonna get the cookie from. So thanks to Cookie Parser, we can say rec.cookies.id, and this will give us the um, value of the cookie ID. And that's gonna be a JWT token. So what I'm doing here is just verifying that it is good, checking the secret, and then I get that user ID that I stored previously. And now you'll notice I put this in a try catch just in case we air out or whatever. And then um, I'm setting on the request object a new property called dot user ID. And the reason I do that is now in my context down here, uh, I can use the request and add the user ID that we passed in this middleware up here into my context. So now all of my GraphQL resolvers will have this user ID that they get from the cookie um, in the JWT token, which is really nice. And that's pretty much um, what you can use for all authentication. I can fetch the user at this point, I can check what credentials they have, all that stuff. Um, and then the only other thing that's kind of interesting here is you'll see I noticed uh, I'm using TypeScript so I put any for these. Um, the reason for that is this doesn't have a user ID object so this is a express request object and it does not have the property user ID so when I'm setting it here it tells me unknown type. Um, so instead of just dealing with the types I just do any and make it simple in these cases uh, pretty much when I'm using TypeScript, whenever I have a case where it just is kind of annoying to type, I'll just put any and not worry about it. So that's why I did there. But uh, let's take a look at an example of how you might use the cookie or the user ID now that it's passed into the context. So I added a new query up here called hello or auth hello. And what it does is it just looks at your uh, the third parameter, so context, it grabs the user ID. It checks whether it's null or not. So if we get a good one, I say, hey, we got your cookie, and then we send back your ID. Um, otherwise, we say, hey, sorry, I couldn't find your cookie. So I uh, made a change to the uh, React application I had before. So now I have this new page I can go to, and it just renders the response of that query so we can see. So for example, right now, I don't have any um, token or any cookie. So if I click to go to this page, it says could not find your cookie. So I request from the server, doesn't find it, um, and so we just send that back. And I'm just going to refresh, and now if I type anything over here and hit submit, uh, it now creates a new ID, new user for me. And now if I go to that page, it says, hey, we found a cookie for you and your ID is 51. So that is how cookies work and how you can use them with GraphQL. And now notice with this, you can do um, pretty much extend this. I like to add some basically kind of like some GraphQL middleware to handle authentication for me. Uh, I'm gonna be, I changed up how I've done that a little bit. I used to do like a higher order permissions thing. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some more videos about how I like to handle um, middleware with these resolvers and then also I currently do not set the token or I don't really use JWT tokens with uh, cookies anymore I'm just using sessions so 
tomorrow I'll be showing you how to use the Express Session, session Library, which is currently what I'm using. So this is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.